Leave it to me. This one seems to have the both wings. <laughs> I think if they make this into an action game, it would work too. Let's try and make this so that each character that just attacked on the field is the very bad. Okay. Yeah, in the future, they should just stick to the turn base and just switch to a few, few attack, few battles. What's a place like this even doing on the school grounds? It's a giant trap door in a campus building. Go right. Why do they make the cards to be like? So, like, I can't even tell if they are like some discards are male or female, like at first glance. Like. This one's obviously uh, male. Wind. Where did that it's come from? Literally. Well, a multiple attack that is that one's that is best for uh, Leave it groups to me. of enemies. Is this a group though? This one is multiple enemies. Peace up, okay. Together, we're unbeatable. Right. I've got this. It's my turn. Leave it to me. In real life, that <laughs> would not even be my problem. Let's flats it. <laughs> but in the RPG game, let's one pass it. <laughs> Fuck, we are very scared that you. No, you don't want any fucking battles. Oh, Enemy sighted. Let's take these out. things of flats. Leave it to me. It's my turn. This should be a uh, auto, auto, not a, not a tail series where you can just have the card at the automatically. Attack. Right. This my love is ready. I consume. That's the power of the eight leaves. Great. All right. Nice.
good to see you guys are hanging in there. <laughs> I'm glad the four of you are unharmed as well. Well, it seems you've cooled your head a bit at least. <sighs> yes, I've calmed down now. At any rate, I don't believe I've introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Laura S. Arsade, from the town of the Graham. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Huh. That's down on the southeastern outskirts of the Empire, isn't it? Correct. It's an old castle town on the shores of Lake Apple. We're connected to the rest of the country by train, but other than that, it's a fairly remote region. That name sounds so familiar. Wait, so your father would be... Yes, my father is Viscount Arsade, Lord of the Grail. Oh, so she is also noble then. Do you take issue with that? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> with this fiercy, she's a uh, hot. Machias, was it? I can only speak for myself, but I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon myself in Adios's eyes. And I fully believe the same to be true of my father. Uh, please, I meant no offense. I'm sorry if, if, if I, uh, say, I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Emma Milstein. Like Laura, I come from a distant region of the Empire. I was only able to attend Thor's thanks to a scholarship, in fact. It's very nice to meet you. A scholarship? Hmm, indeed. Now that you mention it, our instructor did say yours was the top score on the entrance exam. This one looks to be about uh, a 6 or 7. No, is this probably a 5. The blue hair girl is uh, most likely an A alive. I think I was outdone by a girl, no less. <laughs> you must be quite the prodigy. <laughs> Maybe it seems like it now, but really, I'm not. I don't have any training in the martial arts either, so this is the weapon they recommended for me. Oh, that cool. That looks very you heavy. Staff, too. Yours looks different from mine, though. Huh, so it does. I wonder if it's just cosmetic. Oh. Hmm? Is something the matter? We're all acquainted now. It's only proper that you introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm Lisa R. from Ruwer. It's a pleasure to meet almost all of you. <laughs> uh, Elisa. Ruer, huh? What's it like living there? There's probably a new technological breakthrough every week. The Rhineford Company's based in Ruer, and they're the largest heavy industry corporation on the continent, aren't they? I suppose they are. Uh, so, hey. I guess that bow must have been in that case you had with you when we first met, right? I've never seen one like it. Is there some kind of orbital mechanism built in? There is, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Ouch. Um, yeah. Anyone got any ideas on what to do now? We've all run into each other wandering around. How about we stick together? I think that would be for the best. It's not safe for a group of girls to travel alone. You may require protect- You needn't be concerned about that. <laughs> oh, this looks fucking heavy. How does it uh, hold it? You should I mark all in I don't mean to boast, but soldier, I'm my swordsmanship will be more than sufficient to protect us. For now, I think it's best to remain in separate groups. There are still two of us who remain unaccounted for. This sword is ridiculous, isn't it? Like literally almost as big as the Buster Sword from FF7. That's right. Like from this end, goal, it doesn't seem that bad. In that case, two teams means double the chance to find them. Two teams is double the coverage, and double the chance of crossing paths with our missing companions. How's that sound? I have no objections. 
So then, shall we be off? All right. We'll see the four of you later then. <sighs> she really doesn't seem like she's gonna let that go, does she? It was clearly an accident, everyone could see that. But I don't suppose it makes any difference to her. Still, is no one else worried about leaving a group of girls to fend for themselves in a place like this? There are four of us here. Perhaps one of us should go follow them. I don't think we have anything to worry about as long as Laura's with them. She really wears her skill on her sleeve. I doubt she drags around a sword that big just for show. It's certainly an enormous blade. I'd call it comically huge if it didn't look so dangerous. But at the end of the day, a lady is a lady. She's taller and sturdier than I am. Though I admit it's still hard to believe anyone could swing that beast of a sword. <laughs> I'll bet she can whip it around without breaking a sweat. The Arsite School of Swordsmanship serves as a general basis for the techniques used by knights throughout the Empire. And her father, the Viscount, is arguably the strongest swordsman in the country. People call him the Radiant Blade Master. I doubt any of the other students here could even stand their ground against her in combat, much less beat her. Wow, interesting. I didn't know there were still roots of the old knightly styles alive in the Empire. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Reen. A hobby of yours? I'm a swordsman myself. I guess the lore sort of comes with the territory. And at any rate, how about we pick up the search? I'm worried about that silver-haired girl. And we still need to track down Duke Alvarea's son, too. That's true. <laughs> I couldn't care less what happens to that pompous ass. He can rot down here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, now. That's no way to treat someone you just met. Looks like the path splits. Which way do you think we should go? <laughs> I feel a little wind my turn. from the east. I bet the exit's that way. With RP3, you have to go to this area first. The dead There's end first. There's a treasure chest here. In order to get all the chests. Lion <laughs> bar. I don't even need this items. This enemy go down so quick. The item just got this. Okay, this is an healing item. It is good that the enemies are on the screen that way I can avoid them. It is nice. Not at least it is not random encounters. Let's see. Is there anything here? This is the way I came from. Is there anything here? Yep, there's something here. I fuck. I almost. Beats those fucking items. Enemies ahead! We'll have to fight! Right! It's my turn! Here we go! Right! Is everybody okay? Let me try to walk through to see if there's any more item than this.
Let's walk back to, to see if there's any more of those ungs or pots or whatever to, uh, came from here. Okay, this most likely I would have checked this area. This should not be anymore. Ungs to check. 